I'm going to try one more time. I'm uh, third time lucky, I hope. Uh, my internet connection is playing up, so it keeps dropping out. So if it doesn't work this time, I will try tomorrow. It's Joe from Rhythm and Tunes Piano School. I've not long finished up my lessons for the evening, the afternoon and evening. Um, and thought I would just jump on here quickly. If you are on, I can see there's um, two or three people on. I can't see who you are, but um, just uh, type hi in the comments and let me know that you can hear me and that the connection um, is looking stable from your end because like I said, it just keeps cutting out. Um, so I just wanted to share a few thoughts with you uh, as a result of some of the conversations I've had uh, with my, specifically my kids and my parents in, in class today. Oh, thank you. Hi, how are you going? <laughs> Can you hear me all right? Um, one of the uh, questions I ask, um, specifically kids but also adults but I ask kids every I, I do make a point of asking this question every single week uh, with my kids uh, in classes is how are you feeling about piano this week and it's a really great question uh, and I use a couple of um, a cut oh, thank you <laughs> fantastic I use a couple of strategies to gauge their responses so um, the first strategy I use is I ask them to point to a graph that looks something like this. It's uh, kind of like a, a stock market graph. And I just ask them to, they understand what this means, so I just ask them to point uh, out where they are on the graph. And sometimes they will um, point up here, or well, actually 90% of the time, if they have been practising and they've done all their their homework and they're feeling, um, you know, like they're great piano players and on top of the world and accomplished and really good about themselves, which is how they generally feel if they've done all the work for the week. Uh, we say that they're, you know, they're sitting sky high and we call that a peak. Sometimes they're just travelling along and they're, you know, cruising along, they're neither happy nor unhappy or, you know, they're just um, um, on a what we call a plateau which is fine as well. It doesn't matter where you are on this graph, it's always absolutely normal and they get to learn about the concept of a what a long-term relationship's all about. I've, I've titled this live stream Seven, De seven, seven Year Itch Except for Piano and, um, and, and learning a musical instrument is exactly like any, any long-term long relationship. Um, now, occasionally they'll point down here and, um, you know, a lot of the time that's because they haven't done the homework and they haven't done the work and they're not feeling great about themselves and they, you know, they're feeling a bit guilty perhaps that, that they haven't, you know, done what they committed to do. So, um, so generally speaking, they'll be in a valley if they haven't been playing the piano in between lessons. However, sometimes when we hear... A not necessarily seven years of lessons, but when we hit that four or five year mark of lessons, sometimes kids, they're probably turning, you know, on average 14 or 15 if they've started when they're eight or nine, and they can just kind of come into a little bit of a slump. They might be wondering what this is all about, where we're going, because sometimes they can't actually see the, the end result, and they will end up in um, one of these valleys. And they can be here for a short time or a long time um, or a medium amount of time, but I always tell them they will not be here forever. Um, however, the only way that they won't be here forever is one, to give up. Now, you know, that's okay uh, if, they, if they choose to go that way, but you know, when are they going to learn the lesson that if they implement some grit and some perseverance and just keep pushing through to get to the other side of this valley, that they will inevitably come back up and they will be flying high. And I've seen this year in, year out over many, many years that kids who don't give up when they hit this valley 
and and the parents and uh, are supportive and and generally you know the only way to get them through here is for the parent to make the practice a non-negotiable in the same way perhaps brushing their teeth is a, a non-negotiable um, I find that between the parent support and my support that they turn the corner and they come right back up and we've won. I just consider that we've won when they're back up here because that really does mean they turn 15, 16, 17, great. They've now got music as a, a lifetime companion which is um, the goal of Simply Music. So um, I guess, you know, what are we teaching them if we allow them to give up down here? Uh, Maybe they'll find something else. Maybe they'll find that tennis is their thing. Maybe they'll find that soccer is their thing. Maybe they'll find that, you know, something else is their thing. But inevitably, in my opinion, it doesn't matter what they try, this situation will occur in any long-term relationship that they're involved in. And so... Um, I might even post a copy of a, a YouTube um, TED talk that I watched uh, quite a long time ago. Uh, it's about, um, who's it by? It's um, Angela, I had it up here before, can't find it just at the moment. Um, but I might just post that in because I think that's a really good example of what's required when we're not feeling like it. You know, we don't feel like sitting down at the piano every single day. There's lots of things we don't feel like doing, but we need to quite often just focus on the outcome and um, and just get through each day. So there you go, a few of my rambling thoughts for the evening. I'm going to go and have some dinner now, so have a nice night and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.